My name's Gareth A. Hopkins. I'm an illustrator. Um, I've got a website at www.gerthink.com, and Gerthink spelled G-R-T-H-I-N-K. And if you Google that, then I'm pretty much anything that comes up. You have been um, doing a lot of different types of illustration work and only recently sort of got more involved in the fashion illustration side of things. What is it that attracted you particularly to fashion illustration? It's the freedom that allows me. So whereas where I normally draw something, I start with a grid and then work up in little details. And I've got a very set way of working. It's almost scientific now. I've been doing it for so long. Going at a fashion illustration is completely different. It gives me a chance to try out new things, um, use colour a lot more because I've been just been using black and black ink for years now. It's just, it's just really fun. I can't think of a single reason why black lines have, have just followed me around everywhere. I think I grew up reading comics. I'd try and copy that. And I think that's where some of my fashion illustration styles come from as well. You've done quite a lot of stuff for us. And I was just wondering in what respect sort of working with Amelia's magazine has sort of uh, been fun or not and what you've sort of got from it. When I started, I was still really intent on trying to still use my the black and white style and using elements from that in illustrations. And it became really obvious that that wasn't going to work. So I started experimenting more. So the jobs for Amelia's have given me a chance to try stuff out that wouldn't have drawn from a fashion magazine before whereas now that's like second nature to if I don't know Vogue sat around I'll just flick through it the fact that I've been working on images on fashion images for Amelia's has meant that I've got a better appreciation for that side of culture I enjoy working on that sort of image now as well yeah as I was saying it's a chance to experiment and play and, and coming out with images that I'm really happy with every single one in the last two or three months I've been like ecstatic about so you keep a really wonderful blog and you also sort of are quite active on Twitter and um, I just wonder why why you like sort of opening up online what what you get from it and sort of why you think it's an interesting place to talk about stuff since I was about 14 or 15 when the internet was just taking off that's when I picked up and just went on my first forum. When I was in A-levels, I started my own cult on the internet. And then DeviantArt, where, and that's where a lot of my style developed. And at the end of one of the cycles, I jumped ship and went on to Twitter and started a blog. Because I was confident enough then that I didn't have to talk to somebody else to get my opinions out. I could just put them on the blog and have them there. You've um, got a your very young son. And yeah. obviously you have a family to sort of also think about. How do you juggle illustration and a full-time job? And a family. Yeah, stereotypical new dad, rushing around flustered, no idea what I'm doing most of the time. I think the main part is that I keep late hours now and get all the, the family side of, this, of everything out of the way. And then, and that's when I can settle down and like really focus on, on drawing and painting. And, um, and that's the only time I can make space as well. I'm quite happy working that way. You have been doing a lot of sort of exhibitions and stuff lately. Can you tell us a bit more about all the other things you're involved with? I've got a few... Um, plates spinning at the moment so there's the stuff I'm doing for Amelia's um, and I just I, it's almost an addiction now picking up jobs as soon as they're posted whether I can do them or not and then shoehorning them into my life I'm working on a comic called The Intercostal which is an experimental comic which I'm really proud of a gallery in Holland of, uh, they're putting an exhibition together in conjunction with an American uh, gallery so I'm working on a comic for that And then a friend of mine who I connected through Facebook has given me a chance to storyboard for a film he's making. Last year I worked on a project called Operation Concrete, um, which was a a collaborative effort um, set around a novel. And the novelist has offered me the chance to do some concept work for that to build up into another project. So would you say you're quite driven as an illustrator? Is it something that you really can't stop doing? It is now, yeah. For about a year I was just like, I was trawling through Gumtree every every day, every lunchtime, looking for any sort of free exib- exhibition opportunity. A few really interesting things came out, but it wasn't going very well. And as soon as I got on Twitter, there's lots of things coming in. And now, whereas before I was chasing down opportunities, opportunities have started to come to me. Um, and I can't, I haven't been able to say no yet. <laughs>